Hey there, everybody. Getting Tactical here, doing a new review for you of my very first multi-tool. Um, this is the um, Leatherman Wave in um, flat black with a mo nylon Molly Equip sheath. So this is kind of the upgraded um, Wave product from uh, Leatherman. So let's take a look at it here. Um, right off the bat, you got a really nice um, Molly equipable nylon sheath, um, very thick nylon. You got the Leatherman symbol up here. It only comes in black. I think you might be able to order special order a Coyote tan one, but um, we'll get to that in just a second. How there's a very easy f fix for that. But um, anyway, black is what it comes with. Um, we got a big strip of Velcro right there. Um, no button. I would have liked to see a button, um, but uh, the Velcro works well, and it's got a nice big flap for you to grab it. Drainage hole, so it's not going to rust out on you or anything like that. Um, and then on the back, you got your uh, loop of Molly, and this was it's pretty nice because uh, it it weaves through here really well, um, and you can either um, Molly it through your packs or you can Molly it um, and use it and put it on your belt. So uh, I really like that feature. I, I wanted that because I love Molly and uh, this is going to go on my everyday pack that I carry with me everywhere I go. Now um, if you do not uh, have one of these Molly equipable sheaths and um, you're just looking for a sh uh, maybe a cheaper alternative because I think these are uh, just to order in these nylon sheaths. Um, I think they're like 15 bucks. For about 8 bucks um, you can purchase this is a condor pistol mag um uh sheath as you can see how similar these look um you know you can, you can get these in green kind of tan different cam camo colors whatever and this runs like about eight to ten bucks and um the same uh, everything's the same velcro all that stuff and um this wave it, it fits in there it's a little bit more snug but um you can definitely push it in there again i mean this has a drainage hole molly on the back you know all that stuff and a nice thing of Velcro, and uh, it'll fit in there just as well as it will the actual sheath that it was designed for. So um, if you have the leather sheath and you really want a Molly equipable sheath, you can get one of these um, really easily and uh, do that. If you're having a hard time getting your hands on or don't want to pay the price for the actual um, sheath uh, that the black wave Leatherman comes in. So here's the product itself. Um, pretty hefty, um, about eight ounces uh, in weight. Um, and the the width here, uh, the length is about it's about four inches um, in length. So we'll look at the, what uh, what it gives you, what what you come with. Um, on one side, you have a nice serrated uh, blade that's uh, about three inches. Um, really nice serration. These are going to be really easy to resharpen, um, and I really like that uh, little feature. And this is what's so cool about these upgraded Leathermans is they now come with locking mechanisms. This does not lock, wiggle, or anything whatsoever. This is a really nice lock up. I really like that. Um, the lockups right here, you just push it in just like a normal knife would, a liner lock for a knife, um, and it folds right back into place. So that's really nice. Um, then on the other side, you pull this out, same edge, locks into place. You got a saw. Um, I don't know how practical it is. I mean, it's great double serration and all that stuff. So, I mean, it'll definitely saw through stuff. Um, but with this smaller thing, I mean, you're not going to be sawing through a lot. But um, it does come with a three-inch saw. Again, liner lock, you just push that in, put it right back in. Then on the other side... You have extremely sharp, uh, and I believe the steel is 420 uh, steel that they use. I'm hoping that it's 420 high carbon, and it was kind of hard to figure out, and I, I haven't done all the research on it yet. It just says 420, I believe, um, so I'm really hoping that it's 420 high carbon steel. Um, and whatever it is, it's super sharp, and uh, I've already done some cutting with it. Razor sharp, pretty good thickness. Liner lock again, no play, up, down, side, side, which is awesome. Um, I really love that, and when you're holding it, you know you're you're going to be able to do some good cutting um, with this knife. So if you're looking for an all-purpose tool that has a good three-inch blade on it, the Leatherman Wave is definitely it. So nice lock lock up on that side. Then we go to the other um, side, and you have um, a file. This part is not blacked out because obviously you're going to be filing with it and get scraped up right away. Very uh, thin, fine um, on this side, and then very rough on the other. Um, so you could use this, you know, for multiple things, just normal filing stuff if you need to. It's also filed here along the edge, uh, none on the top. Um, actually, no, that's the soft on the top. The the very fine grit is on the top on this side, and then the rough is on this side and this side. So, I mean, you could definitely, if you had to and you were in a pinch, you could sharpen your knife um, with this. Uh, if you had your, a normal pocket knife or fixed blade, you could if you had to. 
um, use this in a pinch, but this locks up as well. So the locking mechanisms are really nice. I really like that. Um, so you spin, you flip this open, pretty stiff out of the box. I'm gonna probably have to play with it and lube it up some. Um, but once it locks into place, I mean, it ain't going anywhere. Uh, really nice pinchers here. Um, you know, you got your needle nose, you got some really good uh, ribbing around here so it can grab different size bolts. Really nice, strong wire cutters, strong, strong wire cutters right here. Um, really like that about it. Those are going to clip. It's very sharp, very strong. That's going to clip through stuff really nice. So on the job site, if you want a multi-tool for the job site, this will cut through a lot of pretty thick high gauge wire. Um, and I really like that about it. Um, then uh, you collapse this in together. Um, and uh, you have up to a seven inch uh, ruler markings here uh, for normal. And then you got metric uh, centimeters all the way through here um, up to 18 centimeters um, in length on either side. So you can measure some stuff if you need to. Um, so that's that with the ruler. Again, these are really stiff. So I'm definitely gonna have to put some lube on these and just play with it a lot. These joints right here are very stiff. Um, then on one side, you have scissors. These guys come out. Nice actuating scissors. Um, operate the same basically as like Swiss Army knife scissors if you ever had a Swiss Army knife um, with scissors. And I don't know why you would really need scissors if you got that knife on there. So, but has the scissors. Those lock up really nice. And uh, the locking mechanism for these inner ones is this button right here. You actuate that. So right now it's locked in place and it's not going to collapse on you. And then when you're ready to put it away, you push down on that and it closes the, the little lever there. So you got scissors. Um, and then what else we got? We got two other tools on this side. Um, let's see here. Get them out for you. You have a very small micro um, flathead and Phillips head screwdriver, very, very small. So you can do very detailed work with that um, if you need to. And then you have kind of a, another type of flathead, um, possible bottle opener kind of a function right here, but a big flathead screwdriver um, or, you know, a little pry bar if you need to pry open, um, what's it called? Uh, like paint cans or something like that, that this little thing would definitely pry those open. And again, it locks in place right here. Um, and then when you're ready to disengage it, you press, press this little button right here, opens up the, it's kind of like a lock back. The front, the, these four on the front are liner locks, and then these are kind of like lock backs for these smaller designs. So that's on one side. Then on the other, pull it out. Um, you just have two. You have a, a Phillips head that is switchable to a flat head, and that's nice and stiff in there. It's not going to fall out on you, you know, or anything like that. Again, locks up uh, if you want it to. And then the final one, let's see here that this offers you is a can opener, bottle opener, um, that uh, will work great for opening uh, any sort of, you know, soup cans or bottle opener, uh, bottles as well for beer, you know, or soda or whatever you were gonna open with that. So um, overall impressions, again, this is my very first personal. I got this uh, as my first wedding anniversary. It just uh, came up a little while ago and uh, my wife gave this to me. Um, and I was very excited for it because it's my very first Leatherman that I've had. I mean, I've played with plenty of other Leathermans, um, you know, had other multi-tools and stuff, but uh, this is my very first Leatherman. This is the Leatherman Wave. Uh, initial impressions, very impressed with it. Um, very good quality. And um, the only downside is, and I've read this and I can already kind of see it, the black will scuff up really quick. So, um, and, and you'll end up, you know, it's going to get it's going to look used in probably a matter of weeks if you use this at all. The black coating will, it's just kind of like spray painted on a little bit um, and uh, will definitely come off with use. So just be aware of that um, and uh, just know that, that that could definitely happen. But nice molly sheath. I like that overall. Really nice um, features. I'm definitely going to be using this quite often for daily tasks, um, you know, and it's just great all around tools. So uh, again, the Leatherman Wave with the blacked out Molly. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, stay equipped, stay prepared, subscribe, uh, comment, and I'll see you out there. Thanks.